Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. And if you're on YouTube and you click the little annotation at the end of the video, you have clicked on Tarentum. And we're gonna go ahead and start this third assignment. Caesar is at today's gladiator tournament and is unable to see you himself. He has asked me, his proconsul for Roma, to brief you on your next assignment. Now that you have proven your skills, you are to found a small city far south of Rome. To build the city to its desired size, you must provide more goods and services than you have achieved thus far. Plan carefully. Rome's Senate expects a good return on the starting money it has voted to give you. Your new province is rich in resources, but you will need to establish trade routes and export goods to earn all the funds that you will need. Make sure your citizens pay their taxes too. Your colony should include a dock so that it can trade overseas. Build the dock on the river with the flotsam and make sure it has a warehouse nearby to store your exports and accept any imports. Trade ships will approach your dock when you have both opened a seaborne trade route and told your trade advisor to buy or sell one or more goods on that route. Like most buildings, the dock needs road access to labor. Caesar's expectations for you are not excessive. He will rate your performance in five categories. Peace, prosperity, culture, favor, and overall population size. But the goals he has set you are rather low. Anything else asked of you should easily be within your power to provide. Caesar will be particularly pleased when you fulfill his requests promptly. Your new province is in lands that do not yet entirely respect Roman rule. Our old rivals, the Etruscans, might be a nuisance. Build the security features at your disposal to prevent these barbarians from becoming a real threat. You can build defensive structures and create a legion to fight the enemy. Walls will slow down an enemy's advance, although they can be breached. Build walls the same way you build roads. Click on the wall's starting point, and holding down your left mouse button, drag the wall to its end. Make the walls at least double thick if you want guards to patrol them. Build towers into your walls to defend them. Tower guards throw javelins at any enemy that comes within range. Each tower comes with a ballista, a heavy missile launcher that can do considerable damage. To train guards for the towers and soldiers for your forts, your city needs a barracks. The barracks alone can train tower guards, horse auxiliaries and javelin auxiliaries. If it has a supply of weapons, it can also provide legionaries, the best fighters you can have. You cannot train auxiliaries or legionaries until you build a fort for each legion. Build forts well away from your residential districts. New soldiers walk from the barracks to the fort without needing roads. You cannot wall your province off from the rest of the world. Citizens and traders need the freedom to come and go. Be sure you include gatehouses at your city's entry and exit points. And if those Etruscans do cause trouble, make them feel the pain of daring to challenge Rome. All right, welcome to Tarentum, your first colony. Now, the ratings here are pretty straightforward. And uh, one thing I do have to explain on this mission is that immigration glitch. 2,500 people, not too much. Yeah, that's all fine. This is the first military mission, so let's go ahead and go to the city. All right, so those of you watching on Twitch will know the magic, the behind the scenes, but we are now on this mission and I have to get through the immigration bug. And I've tried this a few times. I've tried this a few times and you guys really don't want me to lower the difficulty to get around it. So we are going to do it as properly as possible. And I'm gonna just start by building, yeah, I'll build the, uh, the housing area first. 
So we're gonna go like that. One, two, up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think fifteen is where we wanted it. Last one, two, three. This is gonna be the services in the middle of the block. And let's get that gatehouse down first so we know where that's going. And we're gonna have the houses there, the houses there. Uh, actually, the houses not there. The houses like that. And we are gonna have to build a well maze. A well maze. Uh, once we get our population a little bit higher. Let's get those houses down first. We're gonna need a granary right here. We'll get prefecture. And I'm gonna have like that, engineer's post. And we're gonna have this road come out like this. And this road come out like that. One, two, three, like that. So this is going to be our farmland right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that should be enough space for all the food buildings. And that should be good enough access. Now, we'll let these people move in as we get a reservoir down. And we can get a fountain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we will get temples down so the gods don't get unhappy. We'll have a road coming around the back with another prefecture, engineer's post, and we'll get temples. One inside and the rest outside. Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And we need to get our population to just under 200. Just under 200. So let's get that going. Meanwhile, I will get down a wheat farm just to get that going. How's our priorities. Let's set those down. I'll drop that a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, festivals to Mars. I probably should throw a festival to Mars because there will be an invasion. This is the first military map, so we're gonna get that going. More people are moving in here. We're gonna bring this up to just about 200. And as employment balances out, we should prioritize that to make sure the gods are happy. Food production zero, though. Uh, so we do need more people coming in here. There's the festival to uh, Mars. And we're just about reaching 200 people here. So now, this is where we need to build a well maze. This is the immigration bug, basically. Zonshi Gaming just subscribed on Twitch, so thank you Zonshi Gaming. <laughs> but uh, basically, there's a, this immigration bug, which I call it a bug. Some people uh, do not like me calling it a bug, but it's a bug. And basically... Uh, immigration... Uh, well, city sentiment gets really bad at 200 to 300 people. So, we have to build a maze. That, that causes people to move out. So basically, you never have enough people in your city. You're stuck between 200 and 300 people. So we have to build a maze so that the number of immigrants... Ooh, that's blocking it off. Uh, the number of immigrants on the map coming into the city... Uh, ...is enough to reach... 300 people. Once you reach 300 people, the bug no longer applies. And we're gonna build this really big maze, because we need a big maze. And we're a little over what population we require, so I'm just gonna... I need to maintain it below 200 for now. 
And this maze is coming down this way. This looks really weird, but it is absolutely required on very hard difficulty. It's absolutely required. And yes, this is expensive and it uses up a lot of initial resources, but the only other way around this is to play on a big map where you can build houses far away from the spawn point, or uh, you lower the difficulty to hard. And in one of the previous missions, I lowered the difficulty to hard and people didn't take to that very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it properly this time around. And build this massive well maze. This is what you guys want me to do. <laughs> uh, so this can now come down. You can save that, lock that, come down this way. And we're gonna need to get rid of that, and we can have it come back up this way. We're using the trees as much as possible here. Because it saves money. So now they have to come back up this way, come down this way, and we can just make this as long as we like to delay things further. Okay, that looks perfect. And now we can spam houses. We're gonna spam the ones on the back first so that the immigrants are coming to these houses first and then to these houses second. So they have different distances of access. So they'll reach these houses about the same time they reach these houses. And uh, that's pretty much all we can do. We're gonna put down another wheat farm right here to get food going. And now we need to speed the game up. And you'll see, this is gonna be a gauntlet. This is gonna be a gauntlet. And we have to wait for enough immigrants to be on the map so that we can actually get 300 people. Ah, this is a pain. <laughs> there we go. All those immigrants moved in. We're at 193, which is just about perfect. And we wait for all of these immigrants to get on the map. And to make things even longer, we can just keep placing wells coming down this way. And I think there's a path there, so I'm just gonna block that off. So they'll have to walk all the way around here. This is a massive maze. Look at these sheep. The sheep are gonna do the gauntlet as well. <laughs> Ah, and we can speed up. Why did immigration stop? Why did... Why did immigration stop? The gods are happy. Employment's not a problem. We can lower taxes. We can raise wages just to make sure to try and keep people happy. Food is in the granary. Why did immigration stop? More houses? Did we run out of space for people to move in? We did. Oh, geez. I didn't realize that. Okay, but we can save this by just making sure we remain. If I delete this house, it'll buy us a bit of time. Okay, I think that should do it. Venus sends a feeling of goodwill to our city. That's pretty much the best we can do here. Get as many immigrants on the map as possible. I'll put some backup houses right here just to make sure immigrants keep coming through because we need to reach 300. Now that it's reached 200 people, you'll see people are disgruntled and people will stop moving in. But by my calculations, this should be enough. There we go. They're moving out. So this is after Venus sends a feeling of goodwill to our city. And also now we could speed things up by just breaking this. I'm not sure if they'll repath. They won't repath. Okay, pathfinding's fixed. And we need to get to 300 people. 
That's a lot more immigrants coming in. Mars sends a spirit to watch over our city and... Come on, 300 people. 300 people, there we go. So once we reach 300 people, we have to maintain 300 people for a little while until this, people are annoyed with you, is gone. A few more people move in, perfect. Reaches over 320 there. And see, unemployment is 29%. It's crazy. Uh, so we can just start... Well, we'll let it flow, actually. Setting up our industry zone over on this side. Which I'm gonna have this road do that. And all of these wells will be going away after this. <laughs> and people are still annoyed, so we'll keep that waiting. We're gonna need a couple of houses moving in there. We can get rid of that road. All right, we can actually start planning for things. There we go, people are moving in again. And if we look here, people are indifferent to you. Did it, did it. The immigration bug solved without lowering the difficulty level. And look at that, 150 people are watching on Twitch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Close enough to 150. <laughs> it's 148. Ah, there we go. People are moving in. We can now uh, be very careful about how we do this. I need to make a little room here so I can get down a market. And we can just get some fountains going like that so that we can evolve those houses and we need to make sure our population stays above 300 and as people move into the evolved houses we can delete houses we don't need so i'm gonna get rid of all of that people have moved in here we can hook this road back up so with that we can now get down a prefecture engineers post and we can get some raw materials going. Uh, iron mine. Get out of the way. Two iron mines. We're gonna need a warehouse for... weapons. And we can get down some workshops. Weapons workshops. One, two, three. Ah, they got in the way. But that should deal with the unemployment issue. Get out of the way. Okay, and now we have so many people, I think I can delete all these houses in the middle, which we're not going to be using. There we go, we're now feeding people and not feeding the wrong houses that we'll eventually delete. Ah, it worked out, it worked out. Let's get weapons going. And enemies are closing. We have a blessing from Mars, so we'll be able to deal with invasions pretty handily, but I'm going to build up a stockpile of weapons just so we can get some legionnaires going. But also, now, we can delete all of these damn wells! Damn well piss me off. <laughs> See what I did there. Um, but, let's clear this off so we actually have some semblance of a normal map here. The trees were a little butchered. I like leaving the trees intact as much as possible, but oh well. There we go. And we can place one well back there. Fantastic. Weapons will be coming in. Uh, I would like to have one more iron mine. And we could have another couple weapons workshops. Like that. Three iron mines, six weapon workshops. Unemployment of 5% looks good. We're gonna have this road come down this way. And we are gonna get ourselves a barracks. And we're gonna go into debt here because I really want a military academy. And we've reached 500 people. And that will give Caesar... Uh, ...to give us quite a bit more money so we can get down a javelin fort over on this side. We'll clear off some of these trees. Just to make sure we don't actually die, I'm gonna get a javelin fort right there. Food is coming in okay. We're gonna put down another wheat farm, I think, right there. That's looking perfect. And we will actually have a road coming out this way for services in the future, which will go to there. You can leave a gap here, no problem. And we can start getting some fountains down this way. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
It has to be there, actually. So that's gonna go there, and that should actually, one, two, three, four, that should actually cover all of this. Okay, so now we can get another reservoir down. We'll have the aqueduct come this way. Reservoir. Right there. And also, if you didn't know, click and drag a reservoir and it'll actually create an aqueduct. But often in the wrong direction. So we're going to do it manually today. There we go. Okay. Our housing area is finally on the way. These guys need entertainment. There's a plague. Yep, not too concerned about that. Doctor. Barber. How's our employment? Short by 40. That's okay. We'll, we'll... Some people died. Some people died. Let's just make sure priorities are correct. Industry and commerce is the ones taking the main hit. How are the gods delighted? Food supply looks okay. Market has plenty of food in it, but... Uh, this first feeding can be a bit of a pain, so I'll put down another market. And let's wait for more people to move in. And we'll wait for the... the disease to, to go. <laughs> uh, we could get an amphitheater. And we're gonna need a school. We're gonna need bathhouses. Bathhouse there. School's gonna go there. The disease is clearing up. Fantastic. We can replace those houses. I'm not sure if a house could be there, but we'll find it. Actually, no. If anything, it'll expand in that direction. And now more people are moving in, employment is catching up. We'll put down one more wheat farm here, make sure food keeps on going. Feeding both sides here can be a little tricky. Are weapons coming in? Weapons are starting to come in. Because we need to start selling weapons. There we go. And now this market... Are these houses just not evolving because of desirability? There we go. These tents desire more desirability. <laughs> Fine. There we go. Okay. All nice and evolved. Would you look at that? Military is coming in, looking good. Weapons are coming in, which means we can open up a trade route here so we can start selling anything over two units. There we go. And this barracks is currently storing nothing. And now we could probably clear off one of these markets. Let's clear off one of these markets. I'm gonna need to put down a forum. Let's do that. And I could actually move the, the temple... ...out of this block. Because we could have this road circle around all the way... ...to do that. Now just keep an eye on how far... Oh, there's a couple houses there we lost. Let's replace those. How's our employment doing? 41 unemployed workforce, okay. With taxing people, they need pottery to evolve further. More desirability, I think. And we can just have temples go back around on the outside here. So if I have series there. I can get rid of that so I can have series there. Another set of temples. Keep the gods happy. And also all these temples on the outside provide access to religion on the inside. Uh, Mercury, Mars and helps fix desirability. Venus. There we go.
Fantastic. And that leaves room for a theater, I think. And there we go, 1,000 people. And on the outside here, we can have actor colonies. How do I want to do this? I'll probably keep them over in this corner because I think they're bad desirability. There we go. It's looking good, it's looking good. Do you always have the five gods in every mission? Yes. Right. Don't forget to raise taxes and lower wages. That is a good idea. I always forget to do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So we're selling uh, a bit. We're selling a bit. We're still producing quite a lot. Uh, those javelins should be okay. We do have a blessing from Mars as well. Our gardens there, I think. And how is our employment? 30%, jeez. Um, there, that should solve that. Uh, now, let's keep expanding our areas here. Now, what I'd like to do is actually have a bridge over to this side. Uh, how much is a ship bridge? A hundred? I'd like a bridge over there. Oh, that is... It's a hundred a tile, I think. We need to wait till we get more money. All right. Let's just make sure things are sold up. Our javelin fort is fully trained and occupied. More people are moving in. What can I build to... fix the employment issue. I guess I could just put a senate out here, right? How far do these guys reach? Do you reach all the way over here? Oh, uh, we're gonna be invaded soon? Oh yeah. That is actually covered. Gladiator school. Let's clear off some trees here. We can put a senate right in the middle. Oh, it needs a bit more space. And I will just line this up as perfectly as I can. Senate goes there. That will take another 30 people of employment. Okay. So we're gonna be invaded, but the javelins and the blessing should be fine. Those farms should be good. Weapons are coming in. I'm not sure if I could produce more weapons. It might be nice. If I go... One, two, three. Get rid of... This, replace it with another iron mine. So we have four iron mines and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Workshops? Okay, that looks good. And money has come in, so I can start expanding over to this side. I'm gonna build a bridge here. So that I can have a gatehouse right here. And I'll build a block here. Uh, I'll clear this. One, two, this road here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This road here. We'll have a couple houses like that with prefecture and engineer's post right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna be a farm slash industrial area. Actually, I can't have this here, can I? I'm gonna need it here. Prefecture, engineer's post. Because I'm gonna have a dock right here. Oh, I actually could have had it there. Oh well. Just need to leave a gap here to make sure there's no spawning issues. A bunch of people just moved out because no basic education facilities? What? 
<laughs> Wait, what? You know what? I actually do not need... ...these two in here at all. I could just have a theater. An amphitheater over on this side. And amphitheater over there. And looks like we're gonna need a library. Let's move the school over there because the spawning might be a bit weird for that. And we'll have a library right here. And we're gonna move... Uh... No, I need that. Move these two. Neptune and Mercury. Neptune. Mercury. And move these two. We're back in debt. Don't worry, we'll make the money back. We'll make the money back. Actor Colony. Gladiator School. There, we've already got the money back. This way, the entertainment walkers... That's actually no, that's terrible. I'm gonna move this. I need the road coming out this way. Actor Colony. Gladiator School. There we go. So the actor colony and gladiator school will send the walkers all the way around the housing block on the outside, providing entertainment access to every house as they try and get to this area here. And we actually got some spare space right here, which is gonna be fantastic. Now, has this place moved in? It has. Uh, access to workers is a little bit of a problem, so I'm just gonna make sure that's okay there. We can put a dock down here. Unemployment is still a problem. We're gonna need a couple vine farms like that. We're gonna need a couple warehouses here. This is going to be accepting wine. This is going to be accepting furniture. And we can now put down raw materials, timber yard. And we'll wait until some money comes in. Okay. <laughs> ah. It's going good. It's going good. That invasion is still not here, surprisingly. Sixteen percent unemployment. Oh. But there's the money coming in. We're gonna need workshops for wines. One, two, three, four. We're gonna need workshops for furniture. Uh, one, two, three, four. That looks good. And we can actually, I remember, we can import clay and pottery, right? But I'm not sure we can import pottery from the land route or import clay by the water route. But if we make enough money, it might just be much easier to just import pottery straight to this area. And also, you know what? Let's give these people an academy. How much is an academy? 100? Yeah, we got the people. There, have an academy. Makes this area a bit classier. <laughs> Uh, Dufong says 2x2 two two is better than two 1x1 one one houses. Yeah, totally, I know that. But uh, until houses... It, it's sometimes difficult to get it all correct. Those tents are just not... Could I... Like... Delete these two houses here. So I could have a couple small statues. To help with the desirability around there. We can have gardens on the outside here. I can't have gardens there because gardens act as a road, but I can have a row of statues like that. That might help. And we, of course, we can plaza things up. Uh, plaza. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. That evolved those houses there very nicely. Perfect. Okay, these industries are now producing, which is fantastic. And once we start getting wine and furniture in, we can start selling it, which will allow us to start importing pottery. Uh, let's get rid of that farm. Are we short by 14 employees? Uh, let's get rid of this farm. And I'm going to have two warehouses here. This one set to accepting pottery. And this one will be getting furniture. There we go. And we can import the pottery and get the furniture over from this side. Which means we should up our furniture production. Workshop furniture. There we go. Okay, all of that is looking really good. Looking really nice. If we wanted to, we could have another housing block over on this side. It should be fine. I'll preemptively clear off some of these trees. Okay. Twenty-four months for ten vines. That should be easy enough, but to speed things up, I will have another vine farm put down. Now, where's that wine? Except vines. Not getting. You know what? Yeah, getting vines. So we'll stockpile any surplus vines. But I kind of need the the wine to sell first, right? Because I kind of want the money. 24 months is a long time. We, we won't fulfill that quite yet. It's okay. Food's looking okay. All right. Ah. Would I like to play a Caesar 3 someone mission editor map? A custom map? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking of doing custom maps uh, once I finish the campaign again. Uh, will I play good custom scenarios, like Supermax 100 difficulty insane armies? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. How much population can a single functioning farm feed? I'm not too sure, but we're being invaded. Enemies of Roma at the outskirts of your city expect them to drop in for an urn or two of wine and whatever else strikes their fancy. Okay. They're coming from there. We have these guys. You guys are academy trained, and we do have a blessing from Mars, so we should be able to handle this no problem, right? Shoot back. They're shooting you. Shoot back at them. These guys are academy trained, yes. So the invasion is not too big on this map, and we can totally handle it. There we go. We've lost one guy. They've lost two. There we go. Invasion dealt with. Return to fort. Selling off those weapons, getting lots of money in. Okay, that means we can probably start importing pottery with that money coming in. And we can also open up this water trade route so that we can start selling over 800 units of furniture and exporting all of our wine. And I kind of need to start stockpiling vines. Okay. That's going to bring in more money to compensate for the import of pottery. That will evolve these houses. Where did all our money go? Oh, jeez. No, don't go there. Not accepting, please. Uh, I guess we're going to now set this to getting pottery. <laughs> we imported the pottery to the wrong warehouse. I, I hate how resources like suddenly appear in here. Look at that. Um, don't accept clay. When you open up a trade route, it uh, like opens up all of these things. Okay, there we go. Accepting, getting vines. We've got two vines in. Okay. So some wines in. We're gonna sell it. This guy sells weapons. Okay. Okay, pottery is in. We're gonna have this uh, warehouse over here. Get from this one. You do not need a road connection. 
There's another distant battle coming on in. When we have more money, I'd like to get another Legion Air Fort, but we'll see if we can win the mission before that. Here we go. Just go ahead and grab that. We need these plazas down. Too little entertainment. Ah. That is a problem. These small houses on the inside aren't quite getting the entertainment they need. But it's okay. I'm not too concerned about that yet. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think... Why didn't you buy furniture? Oh, we're, we're only exporting over 800, right? And this guy is coming over here to get this furniture. There we go. We'll set this to accepting. There we go. Bringing furniture over here. The market lady, I think, has... is taking furniture. Yep, yep, don't worry. We're, we're in debt because we're buying pottery. Okay. You're coming back here... All right, they, they always sell before buying, and there we go. These houses are now evolving. Nearby building gatehouse, not to worry. Nearby building small shack, not to worry. If we just start plazaing things up here. We could get these houses evolved, there we go. How many people are we short by? Eight employees, okay. We've been keeping it pretty good. Okay, more boats. Bought some wine. Okay, how much... Uh, let's dispatch the vines and we can stop stockpiling the vines. Get more wine coming in. Get more uh, furniture being sold. Some furniture's over on this side. This market has pottery. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Favor. We're gonna probably need to give a uh, gift to Caesar. Dispatch a lavish gift, yeah? Brings it up to 37. Very good. Prosperity, peace, culture is fine. Favor will be fine. We just need to get our population up right now. And then things will be good. Once we stabilize, it'll be good. There we go. This is... Needs improved by access to a school. How is there not... Education. School. What? What kind of walker path is this? <laughs> uh, all the kids are walking the same way and they despawn here. Fine, fine. I'm gonna swap the school and the baths. School. Uh, baths. Let's see if that fixes this, the children walker problem. They were all walking the same way. There we go. Now they split up between two ways. But now it's not reaching there. You know what? We're gonna need more schools anyway. Problem solved. Education... Library? That's fine. Okay. So all that's looking good. So it's just a population issue? And a desirability issue. Plaza the whole thing. Garden the whole thing. You know what, let's not garden the whole thing. Let's make it look a bit nicer. Medium statues. Is there a path back here? It is, okay. Medium statues, we'll leave one open like that. Okay, gardens. That's looking okay. Gardens can go there. We're spending all our money now. There we go. <laughs> so it is a problem. No access to any religious facilities. Yeah, we need to, to clear off some space in the middle here, I think. I guess we don't need the school in the middle anymore. So let's move the temple to Ceres into the middle. We'll need more temples anyway. Neptune, before the gods get unhappy. Mercury. 
Mars, and Venus. Okay. So that will keep the gods happy. That will provide... Yeah, these houses need to evolve. Needs a supply of furniture. Let me check the commerce. There is furniture, there is food, there is pottery. So you're now walking this way. Supply of oil. So we cannot get oil on this map, right? No oil? Yeah. Too little entertainment. I guess this needs to be an amphitheater, right? We have to do that. Meanwhile, to boost population even further, what we can do is have another block of housing over on this side. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do a simple thing. I want to do this. We'll need a reservoir. Okay, so we almost won this map. We just need the people to move in. So let's go ahead and get people moving in, shall we? Fountain... what's the reach of this? A little short, but... I guess that'll be okay. <laughs> as long as those become two by twos. What else do we need here? We need a market to start evolving these houses. We're gonna need a prefecture. We're gonna need an engineer's post. We're gonna need some doctors. We can put down some baths. And we can garden up the outside. I wish gardens looked better in Caesar 3. They look kind of they look kind of jank, right? They look kind of jank. <laughs> Enemies are closing. Uh, we have money, we have weapons. Uh, you know what? Fort Legionnaires. Yeah. There we go. We'll start getting some legionnaires in. We got plenty of weapons. We're, we're making more than we can sell. These people are now moving in. Those houses did evolve, except for a few on the edge there. But not to worry. And that's going to start bringing up our population. We can plaza up this road on the middle there. There we go. Uh, this market has access to food, pottery, furniture. Fantastic. These houses... Some entertainment, but not enough. I guess I will replace the forum with a theater because we do not need... We don't need those. Uh, we do not need any more... Uh, taxes. We're fine without taxes. We're gonna give these guys a theater and give these guys a temple to Venus. So we can get rid of that one. Keep the gods evenly happy. They're all happy. Fantastic. Shorten that road. These houses are now evolving. They'll have access to religious facilities soon. We actually should not have gardens in the middle because that messes up pathfinding. 2,000 people. And I'm out of coffee. There we go. So that's going to bring in a bunch of people. Unemployment is back. I guess we just uh, try and use up. Let's educate the farmers. <laughs> Uh, we could have another academy there, I guess. Okay, that should use up some people. We're importing pottery. We're still bringing over furniture, I think. That's not a problem. No basic educational facilities. Have yourself a school. Jeez, we just imported a bunch of pottery and now we're in massive debt. <laughs> You're now walking back to buy the weapons? Okay. 
I wish they would buy and then sell. That's something that, that's always sort of annoyed me. Buy, they, they, they sell their goods first and then they buy what they're gonna buy. So we go into debt and then they come back, buy the weapons and we'll get out of debt. Look at that. Where's the other caravan? There's supposed to be two caravans. Well, the boat's coming anyway, so we can sell some wine. Ah. Uh, workshop wine, I think. Get more wine production going. There we go. Made the money back. These houses are now evolving. Some entertainment, but not enough. But population's climbing. There's plenty of room. So if I speed up the map here, the population will reach 2,500. All the ratings are what they need to be. And we've won this mission. Military is coming in all right as well. We're not gonna make that. Come on guys, move in. There's plenty of room. We just need to wait for them to move in. 2,400. And it went down a bit. These houses are devolving because no food from the market? Really? Well, if I clear off some of these houses, I can go ahead and put down... Increase the price of furniture. That's good for us. Let's give these guys an amphitheater since they want it. That evolves those houses. How did we... Oh, the first feeding just sort of messed up our food supply a bit. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, commerce, food stocks... The market lady tends to walk that way... a lot. But we're at 2,464 people. A few more coming in here, and that will win us the mission. Come on. Did it. Did it. We don't need more farms, it's just the first feeding of housing areas tends to, to cut into the food supply. It will actually stabilize after a while. But there we go, we have finished the mission without dropping the difficulty at any point on very hard. Let's accept promotion. The Etruscans will not threaten Tarentum again. Well done. It is the rare governor who can balance city building and combat. Now let us see if you can repeat your success. Or was that just luck? Ah, uh, and as I always say, was that just luck or sheer skill? <laughs> we did it, we did it. You guys were unhappy. The f I actually did this one time around and based on the feedback from mission two, you guys do not like me dropping difficulty to get around the immigration glitch. So that's how you do it with a well maze, a well made maze. Uh, but anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, here is the map for the next two missions. If you want to click on the links right now on the screen, you can click here. Taraco, a peaceful province, is the next mission on the fourth assignment. Or you can go military to Syracuse, a uh, somewhat dangerous province. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the buttons on the screen right now and it'll take you to those missions. But otherwise, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.